Although it's early summer, mosquitoes and ticks are out in force. Health agencies are on the lookout for possible disease outbreaks brought by the bugs, most notably Triple E, West Nile virus, and Lyme disease. The Attleboro Health Department has taken precautions to prevent possible outbreaks in the area. We spoke with Attleboro Health Agent Alan Perry about what citizens can do to protect themselves. Well, it's summertime in New England again, and um, it's particularly in southeastern Massachusetts, it's that time of the year where we're concerned about mosquito-borne illnesses, or arboviruses is what they're called, particularly West Nile virus and uh, Tripoli. Um, I think it's uh, about this time that the State Department of Public Health begins uh, its tracking and uh, catching and uh, monitoring of the virus in mosquitoes. And that's a good time for us to consider uh, how uh, we would prepare for this and the old adage of protecting yourself, uh, personal protection is always a good one. The two arboviruses that are of most concern to us, amongst others, is the West Nile virus and the Eastern Equine Encephalitis. Most people know that as Tripoli. Of the two viruses, Tripoli, although more unlikely uh, for someone to um, get, it's the virus that uh, is of greatest concern. West Nile virus is pretty much endemic now, not only here, but across the United States. Uh, West Nile virus, uh, many people, healthy people, uh, might not even know that they have the virus. Uh, some people chalk it up to a summertime cold. Most people who are healthy will get the virus and recover. People who are immune compromised, old elderly, and the very young are more at risk for developing severe complications from West Nile virus. Tripoli is definitely the more serious of the two, even though it is a rare event. Um, people come down with meningitis-like symptoms, so it could be fever, they might have a stiff neck, they might um, complain of a lot of pain, headache, and what happens really quickly is it affects their neurological system. So if people are diagnosed with it, usually the outcomes are not very good, unfortunately, which is why it's so concerning. It has a higher, much higher rate of death than what uh, West Nile does. And again, people who contract Tripoli most times have long-term neurological problems. Personal protection, again, is, is key. Um, wearing mosquito repellent with DEET is a great way if, to help protect yourself, although not 100%. Removing standing water in and around, around your home is a great way, changing bird baths, um, trying to eliminate any type of stagnant water, um, making sure that all the screens are, are repaired and in good condition on the home to keep the mosquitoes out. Some other ones are, you know, and some of these are hard, we understand that, but limiting your activity between uh, seven at night and seven in the morning, because that's when mosquito, you know, the mosquitoes are out more. Also, if you are going to be out at night, he had mentioned using um, mosquito repellent in the appropriate kind. Generally, 30% D is what's recommended. And there are also other effective ones. Um, lemon of eucalyptus is also found to be um, a very effective ointment that people can use to protect themselves. So we were talking about mosquito-borne illness. So the other thing that we really need to talk about too in the summer is tick-borne illness because um, tick-borne illnesses are actually on the rise. Even I'm responsible for communicable disease follow-up and one of those that is reportable to the Department of Public Health in Massachusetts is Lyme disease. And I've seen our numbers go, you know, climb over the years. So again, when people are outside, especially if they're out in the woods or if they're out near tall grasses and everything, there's a possibility that they could brush up against a deer tick and it, it can attach to them. And they're so small, they're like the size of a sesame, you know, the size of a sesame seed. So some of the protection measures are people can use tick repellents. Um, they can, uh, the other thing that's also advisable, again, wearing long sleeves and long pants. But again, when you're having humid, hot weather, it's hard to, it's hard to do that. But one of the most effective things that people can do is um, when they're, after they've been outside, come in and check themselves. And ticks will f hide in the most unlikely of spots, creases in the skins. So it's really important to check yourself, your children, and even your animals from head to toe. Um, there are some devices that they make that are very, um, help take the ticks, that help take the ticks off. Um, also, you just can use a pair of tweezers and pull up straight on that to remove it. If people think that the tick has been on more than 24 hours, then they're advised to follow up um, with their physician um, just to touch 
uh, base with them. Uh, some physicians will, if a tick's been on for more than 24 hours, I might give it a one-time dose of an antibiotic to help prevent any, um, you know, any type of outcome if they don't know if the deer tick is infected or not. When people get Lyme disease, what you would expect that they come down with, again, are sim something similar to flu, and it generally will um, happen within like about 30 days. Another thing that we also associate with um, Lyme disease is uh, what we call the bullseye rash. It only happens in about 30 to 35 percent of the cases, though it's kind of it's kind of like a light and red, and it looks very much like it looks very much like a bullseye. Um, in my nursing career, I've seen people that have just had that, and I've had seen people who have had that bullseye rash like all over their chest or all over their uh, back, which is a little, you know, which is worse. It looks like somebody put targets on their, you know, on their whole body. The other thing that's important about Lyme disease, um, catching it early, is that it can go on. People can go on to develop chronic. Um, it can affect the heart, it can uh, uh, affect other parts of the body to go on to cause long-term complications.